Tom McGuire, ladies and gentlemen, here they come. <laughs> Two flags there. Two refugees from Donegal. Welcome. Welcome, one and all. Um, I would just uh, met you outside in the, in the corridor there, and I was just wondering do you still have the energy to talk? Are you okay? You, you're not too wrecked? Uh, no, we're getting there. We're getting there. So it's been a long couple of days uh, spending a lot of time in a bus. As I say, there's, uh, there's only so much things you can do in a bus. And, yes, that's uh, true. <laughs> was, uh, what did you do on the bus? <laughs> uh, use your imagination. <laughs> we were, uh, we were uh, just um, enjoying each other's company. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, having a crack and all that. <laughs> in, the, in the last week, what, has, what was the moment for you? Was it the, the final whistle? Was it going out at the, at the start? Or was it, was it uh, the, that night? When, when did it kick in for you, the adrenaline? I think it's been everything, Ryan. It's just been absolutely fantastic to see the, the people of Donegal and the colour they have and the, and the, suppose, the excitement and the, the pride yeah. in their faces. And, you know, to, to, uh, to walk the steps and lift the cup was a, a special moment. But just to think spending, spending, so spending time in each other's company has been, yeah. has been fantastic. And uh, I suppose uh, wanting something and celebrating with people that you're, that you're close with has been, uh, has been the best part. Well, what about, Jim, what do you think? 20 years later, here we are. Uh, what, what, how's, how, how was last Sunday for you, for starters? Ah, uh, fantastic. I mean, yeah. uh, I suppose something, you know, you can only dream of, really. And um, just delighted to get over the line, really. It was a fantastic day and the whole thing led into the Burlington and on Sunday night. And I suppose it's been going on since, really. It's it, been a great experience. Is it possible to, to explain to everyone watching the difference between winning as a player and winning as, as a manager? Which, which one for you is it possible to...? I suppose a wee bit more fulfilling as a manager from the point of view of, you know, you're looking at the other people that you're working with and you're... You're, you're looking at them in training and you're, yeah. you're seeing them sort of develop in training and d your plans developing in training. And then when they, I suppose when they were successful and they got over the line and standing on the pitch and looking up at them lifting the cup, it's very, very kind of, it's a real good positive feeling inside. How was your dad uh, on Sunday? Was he mixed emotions as a male man? Did he? No, I think it was. It must have been a tough <laughs> afternoon for him, was it? Yeah. I think it was fair to say it was a happy Donegal now. Yeah, um, yeah. I think we've uh, managed to convert him over the last couple of, uh, the last couple of years. He was yeah. up here and, uh, I suppose I think he was, he was proud of, of one of one and all of us here in, yeah. in Donegal and happy to see us uh, left Sam McGuire. So on, on wet Monday night when you got in back into Donegal and across the border, you, you got out of the bus, didn't you? You walked across. We, we did, surely, yeah. We walked across. Firstly, we walked across the border um, and, and to Pettigo. We got a, a fantastic welcome there. And yeah. as I say, um, I suppose that led into to Donegal town then where we've, where we've managed to be over the last uh, number of years a couple of times. And to see the crowd there was just absolutely fantastic. I mean, there was, there was upwards of 30,000 yeah. there, Donegal people, and they were, uh, as I say, they were, they were going mad, you know. Yes. And what do, what do you think of, of, of Mayo's performance on the day? I mean, do, you, do you have a little sympathy for them, or are you too busy enjoying yourself? Uh, no, we definitely would, obviously. You know, like ourselves, we had a 20-year gap there where we were trying to sort of um, get over the line, and Mayo were in a similar situation. And, you know, what, if, if, if we were to lose on Sunday and Mayo had to win, we would have wished them all the very yeah, best, to be honest with you, because, you know, they've been working very hard for the last number of years. And I think the will of their day as well. You know, I think James Horne's done great work with that group of players, yeah. and it's a young group of players. And, uh, you know, I'd have no doubt they'll be back again. What about next year? Is it too early to talk about next year? Or can we talk about it for a second, just in case? Ah, yes, yeah, I suppose you can, you can chat about it. Have you thought about it? Um, I definitely have spoken about it. You know, it's uh, the end of the 2012 season has, has occurred last Sunday, and yeah. it's now teams are focusing towards the 2013 season, and I think that's where our attention has to turn to. Obviously, sure. we, we enjoy our celebrations, and we will, we will do that, but I think the, it's, um, you know, to be wrong to, to enjoy it too much and lose focus, we need yeah. to, keep, uh, to keep looking towards 2013 and the season that lies ahead. Will you be attending or watching the match on Sunday? And no, I won't be attending, but no. we'll definitely be watching. watching. You know, okay. yeah. We wish that those teams as well. Oh, absolutely. Kenny and Gold, we wish them well. It's a huge, huge game for both Great teams. win. Great for the game, generally speaking, to have two teams like yourselves and Mayo there last Sunday and equally next week with Galway. And uh, it's been great to watch your celebrations as we've been watching it deteriorate as human beings for the last week, just getting more and more wrecked as the week went on. <laughs> but, uh, but you are, of course, giants uh, in your county and you did really well. Congratulations. Thanks for coming to see us tonight. Thanks, uh, Thank you, Galway.
Wales from Australia. My next guest has been for many years one of the leading figures in Irish music. Over the years, he has played with the Chieftain.